Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain how to solve the problem C, conics and distribution from the code for this round 638 division 2. In this task, we are given a string consisting of lowercase Latin letters, and we need to split the, the letters of the string in k non-empty strings such that we will minimize the smallest, the biggest string among them. It's quite obvious to see that this problem is solvable using reading because the constraints are quite big and uh, because some letters are bigger than the other, we will always focus on getting smaller letters like A, B, and so on compared to the bigger letters in the front position. Now I'm going to explain several cases in sketchpad. It's worth mentioning that for this problem, I'm going to firstly sort the string. So let's say we have the sample A, 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 B, B. I'm going to use this sample because it uh, explains quite well my approach. But before explaining the approach from this sample, I'm going to solve the simpler cases. First of all, if k is equal to 1, we are just going to print the sorted string. Also, if the letter on the position k in the sorted string is bigger than the first letter, letter 0, or letter 1 in case of 1 indexation, then we are going to print just the letter k. Why is this true? Because we can assign all the other letters to the string starting from this letter, and the string will still be smaller lexicographically. So it's always optimal to print just letter k. Why not other letters? Because we need to ensure that we have k non-empty strings. Otherwise, the problem would be simple. Now, we need to solve this case for the given sample, as I mentioned here. Let's say we need to split the string in uh, four separate strings. So k will be equal to 4. Now we have uh, to at first uh, give the smallest letters to each string. Like we have four strings and each of them will be a. And I'm going to assign the rest of the letters to the first string. And you will see why it works. Now, since uh, we can still do changes, I'm going to present an algorithm which runs quite fine and it's helpful to see the changes. Basically, if we have some letter on the last position, we are just going to iterate through each letter and check if the letter on this position is equal to the letter on the position where we are going to insert the letter in the old string. Long story short, let's say we want to insert this letter somewhere else. It's quite easy to observe that these two b's are equal, so we can just add this b here, cut it from here. Now we are going to do the same thing for this letter. Since the size of this string is already too big, we need to go to another string. So we are going to the third string, and this will also work. You will see that for this string, we can no longer do any changes because all the other strings would be too big. So we need to stop the algorithm here. I'm going to show you that this algorithm runs in about linear time by using my implementation. Now I have uh, switched to the submission, which got printed fast, and I'm going to explain what each line of code is doing. Firstly, I'm checking the basic cases mentioned earlier, and then I'm going to move to the algorithm itself. Since uh, we need to make the strings non-empty, I have assigned to each list the smallest letter. And then I have assigned all the other letters to the first list. This variable last counts how many moves 
we had since we did our last swap. And if this counter is bigger than n, we are just going to break. If the difference between the sizes is bigger or equal than 2, this ensures that the first string will always be the biggest. And we can still do these changes. We are just going to take the jar from the back of the first list and check if it's smaller or equal than the string on the corresponding position. Now we can just uh, do this swap if we can do it and reset this variable. So we can still do another n steps. Also, in order to speed up the runtime, we are going through the string circularly, like from the, on the list of strings. 1, 2, 3, 4, up to k, and then we return to 1. Or in this case, to 2, since the first uh, list is going to be the bigger. And last but not least, we can print the string remaining from the first list, and it will be correct. And this algorithm will run in no end. Another interesting uh, fact about this problem is that uh, implementation is uh, quite easy, but if uh, someone thinks that more complicated cases, he can end up getting lots of wrong answers, like I just did. You can see I got five wrong answers because I was thinking at completely more complicated solutions. And in case of these problems, more complicated solutions are more likely to fail because they go deeper and deeper into casework. So you should always avoid such casework whenever it's possible, obviously. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about my new videos. Also, you can join the Discord server for more content and also for competitive programming discussions. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck, and goodbye.